H is for Corey Hart. Uh, I only bought this for uh, sunglasses at night, and this was really cheap too, like three bucks, I think. Uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, part one. Cool, that was a cool find. Uh, Jimi Hendrix, Electric Ladyland. Uh, this is a reissue. And opens up. It comes with this uh, booklet here. It's got a, f a few nice pictures in there. And the back. Are you experienced? Um, also another reissue and this is the original mono recording. And there's the uh, inner sleeve. Hunger Games songs from District 12 and beyond. I don't normally buy um, song soundtracks because they're basically just compilation albums with a movie title slapped on them. Um, but this was interesting. This was a little different because every song on here was written specifically for this movie. So I thought that was a pretty interesting change. Herbie Hancock, Future Shock. Yes, Rocket is on there. Hellbound, Hellraiser 2 soundtrack. Another pretty cool find. And the Hateful Eight soundtrack, amazing soundtrack. Oscar winning soundtrack by Neil Morricone. Now, this is an amazing package. Open up the gatefold here. Check that out. It comes with a very nice booklet. Pictures from the film. Lovely. And two panoramic posters. I have been thinking about getting uh, this framed perhaps, because that'd be pretty sweet. And this poster is so wide, I can't show it all in one shot. Check this out. <laughs> wow, there we go. I is for Iron Maiden, and only Iron Maiden. <laughs> Live After Death. And it's got a nice uh, fold out, gatefold, whatever. And it also comes with a little booklet. Iron Maiden have some of the best uh, album covers of all time. Uh, they're just the coolest, man. Love Eddie. <coughs> and we've seen them twice here in Ottawa. Awesome. They've, man, what a show they put on. There's oh, the best. Wasted Years, 12-inch uh, single. Uh, Power Slave. Somewhere Back in Time, uh, best of 80 to 89. Um, what a package this is. Oh. I'll show you the discs, which are both picture discs. Yeah, look at that. Man, that's awesome. Made in Japan, EP. I used to have this on tape. Uh, Somewhere in Time, one of my favorite albums. This I bought at a uh, record convention a few years ago. This is the Israeli edition. You can see uh, the writing there. And the front cover itself is slightly different. Uh, the, um, the band name uh, logo here is uh, smaller. I have another one here I'll show you in a second. And it's also a white vinyl. Then this I bought uh, sometime later. Uh, it's a reissue, repressing um, of the North American version, I guess you could say. And it's got a nice fold out there, gatefold. It is also a picture disc. Very cool. That's the inner sleeve. Peace of mind. This was used. And 
That's the inner sleeve. Number of the Beast. The Final Frontier, new of course. Really cool, man. Love that. I love the uh, the cover there. And uh, this is a double album, double picture disc, with some more awesome artwork. And these are the uh, inner sleeves. And interior artwork. Two minutes to midnight, 12 inch single. And their newest album, which is great, Book of Souls. Really thick, very heavy. <laughs> and this is the gatefold. They're not picture discs, but they do have uh, some neat labels on them. Judas Priest, Screaming for Vengeance, picture disc. Uh, I just got this the other day. I showed it in my mini haul uh, video. Um, awesome picture disc. Um, I do not like the uh, clear plastic uh, cases that uh, so many picture discs come with. Um, is, uh, this tears very easily, especially around the corners. Um, and uh, spl it splits here along the edges very, very easily. And uh, in very warm weather, um, I found with one disc that I'll show later on in the video, uh, it can actually damage uh, the record. So I always like to put them in a nice plastic inner sleeve, then in an outer sleeve, and then put uh, the original uh, sleeve inside like that. So it doesn't look quite as nice or as shiny, but uh, it protects the record much better. Joan Jett and the Black Hearts, up your alley. I love rock and roll. And of course, bad reputation. A little beat up, but you know, whatever. Journey, Frontiers. Escape, Killer Dwarfs, Dirty Weapons, Craftwalk, Electric Cafe. This is the only Craftwork album um, that I have never seen a reissue for. Um, this is an original pressing, and uh, yes, yeah, so I don't know if it has something to do with copyright or whatever, but I don't think um, like a reissue repressing of that exists. Uh, Electrokinetic. This is like a little uh, EP, I guess. Trans Europe Express. That was a new pressing, and so is this, the Tour de France. Nice big booklet. And there's the map. Radioactivity. Uh, this is also a new pressing. This is the, the inner sleeve and also the original um, cover album artwork. And comes with another nice booklet. There are the boys. It's got a lot of uh, kind of strange kind of pictures like this. You know, transmissions. Computer World. The Man Machine. And an original pressing of Autobahn. Pretty beat up. But that's pretty, that's pretty cool to have. Hell is for Led Zeppelin. I'm not a big Zeppelin fan, but uh, I do really like Black Dog, so I picked that up. Lady Gaga, the Fame Monster picture disc. The Fame! Uh, I bought two of these. Uh, story behind that's pretty boring, not going to get into it. Uh, suffice to say, uh, I made a mistake. <laughs> so I have two. Um, I guess I should have sold the other one by now, but uh, perhaps one day I will sell it or give it away. I don't know. Born This Way, 
pretty crappy cover on that one. Uh, the back is better, I think. And that's just kind of ridiculous, <laughs> but whatever. Art Pop. I do like that cover. And the inside. <laughs> oh, there we go. I guess I'll show the label, because it does have a picture on it. Living Color Vivid. Loudness, Thunder in the East. Blaze Rocket, City's Gonna Burn. MS4, Metallica, Death Magnetic. And here is the interior. Ride the Lightning. Uh, okay, so this is a new pressing. And well, while I was preparing uh, to make this video, it slipped out of my hands. I dropped it right on this corner. Man, that pissed me off. I even posted a picture of it on Instagram right away. I was just like, oh man, sad, sad. Oh well, Beyond Magnetic EP. And this one is on silver vinyl. Pretty cool. Um, it, I, if, unless you're looking at it like uh, under a lot of light, it looks more gray than silver. Uh, but yeah, if you hold it up to the light, it does look uh, kind of silvery for sure. Pretty cool. Master of Puppets. Also a new pressing. And there's the insert. The Black Album. Let's see if you can see the snake at the bottom. There we go. And the insert, not much to see there. This is a very cool buzzsaw cut picture disc. Uh, it's an interview disc. Um, I've got a few of these, which I'll show it after this. Um, yeah, very, very cool buzzsaw. And uh, yeah, no music, just interview. And Jump in the Fire Demon picture disc. Really interesting cutout uh, shape there. You, if you look in the uh, under the light there, you can see um, the record in the center, and then there's the other side. Creeping Death in the original Garage Days uh, Revisited uh, B-Side picture disc. Uh, this is another very old one that I bought when I was a teenager. And these are some more uh, interview picture discs uh, in rectangular shape. And again, if you hold it up to the light there, you can see the, the record in the center. Um, you can see these pretty clearly. I don't think I have to take them out of the plastic. And right there. And the other side. Municipal Waste. Massive Aggressive Picture Disc. Awesome record. Awesome song titles too, like The Wrath of the Severed Head and Mech Cannibal. Great record. This is the original plastic case for um, Municipal Waste. And what I was saying earlier about these uh, tearing really easily and splitting, say, the bottom there it's already split and this is not all this is like I bought this like two years ago and it's already split there so they're garbage Ministry Psalm 69 awesome album Motley Crue Theater of Pain and the inner sleeve Shout at the Devil original pressing Satan and the interior. Monty Python live at city at live at city center. <laughs> the album of the soundtrack of the trailer of the film of Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Warning: This record can only be played once. <laughs> Monty Python's previous record. matching tie and handkerchief and then the uh, interior artwork slides up there the final ripoff life of brian motorhead iron fist 
Saltillo Monocyte. Uh, have you read the comic or uh, graphic novel Monocyte? Same thing. Uh, he made a uh, soundtrack for his uh, for his comic, which is amazing. Really impossible to describe. Uh, and there's a CD version and a vinyl version, and they're both different. They both have different music on them. Uh, the music on the vinyl is only available on the vinyl, and the music on the CD is only available on the CD, which I also have. Really cool. And Moscow Chamber Orchestra. My wife got this uh, several years ago. Um, I think she listened to it once and then decided she didn't really like it. <laughs> so, anyways. N is for Nine Inch Nails, and that's all it's for. Uh, this is the remaster for Pretty Hate Machine, and it sounds amazing. Um, there are two editions of this. Uh, this is the one that comes with uh, Get Down, Make Love, the uh, cover track. And I'll show you something cool about the record. It's just one song, so they had to include another disc. Um, so that's side three. And this is side four, it's blank. This is the only record I have like this, which is pretty cool. Um, you can actually use uh, records like this to adjust the anti-skate uh, setting on your turntable. That's the insert. Not much to see though. Ozzy! Blizzard of Oz! This is an original pressing. Pretty obvious again, because it's pretty beat up. <laughs> Bark the Moon! Same thing. Original pressing. And there is the inner sleeve. No rest for the wicked. Diary of a Madman. And there's the ins uh, inner sleeve. The ultimate sin. One of my favorite. Uh, maybe this. This maybe this is my favorite um, album cover of his by Boris. Pretty cool. Yeah, pretty awesome cover. Yeah, that's probably my favorite Aussie cover. The uh, inner sleeve. Omaha the Cat Dancer picture disc. Uh, I bought this a long time ago, maybe when I was 20, -ish, something like that. I don't know. I don't even remember. it. Maybe even 18. I don't remember. Uh, I bought it a long time ago. Um, I used to read the comic. I still have a graphic novel and a few issues. Uh, I bought, the, bought this mostly just as a uh, collector item. I had no idea if I would like the music or not. I don't know if it's bad or it's just not my taste, but um, I don't even know how to describe it. I'm not even, I can't even remember what, exactly what it sounds like, other than I didn't really care for it. But whatever, it's a cool little piece to have. Charlie Parker, One Night with Charlie Parker in the Orchestra. And Charlie Parker, Bird, the Savoy, Savoy Recordings, Master Takes. And both of these Charlie Parker records are um, were bought used. Uh, I've never seen uh, like a new pressing of any of his albums, so they're actually quite difficult to find. Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon. It. And also, this is also a, an original pressing, which is very easy to find, just like. The Wall, also very easy to find an original pressing for, because there's just so many of them. Platinum Blonde, Standing in the Dark. Awesome Canadian band. And also Alien Shores. Rainbow. What was the album called? Long Live Rock and Roll. Rat, the original EP. I always liked Rat. I was always a big fan of theirs. Never got to see them because they never really got that big. Um, but yeah, I always liked them. And that's uh, Dancing Undercover, Inner Sleeve, Out of the Cellar, 
invasion of your privacy and reach for the sky. There's the uh, inner sleeve. 